Let's get ourselves connected. Gotta get yourself connected. Well, I think a lot of us are familiar with flat screen technology as far as TVs, LCD and plasma are the two technologies. Well, there's a new player in town, OLED, and we've got uh, Brent from Sony to explain what that's all about. The next TV doesn't look so big, though. The next TV is not big, but again, when you think of the first LCDs that came out, they were quite a bit smaller. And as the production yields improve, the prices come down and the sizes get bigger. So what we've been able to do is, is bring a new technology to market. This is an 11-inch screen. Uh, it's called OLED. It's the technology. It's called organic light-emitting diodes. And basically, the surface... So this thing's alive? This, well, it's not alive. It uses very little power as one of the uh, characteristics of it. So it uses less power than a light bulb to run the TV. It's about 34 watts. And it's actually uh, each pixel generates its own light. That's how you can get this three millimeter thickness and this incredible uh, actual performance of the panel. Well, it's kind, of, it's kind of funny as far as the thickness. I mean, this thing is razor thin. The remote control that comes with it is thicker than the TV is. Absolutely. And, and really, for a new television technology, uh, it's all about picture quality. And this gives you just an outstanding uh, picture quality. The contrast ratio is a million to one. Well, let's compare that to an LCD TV, and that's about 18,000 to one? Yeah, so our top-of-the-line XBR is about 18,000 to one. And this so is... So those are crummy old TVs now. Well, this is the <laughs> funny thing about comparing uh, different statistics between technologies. Yeah. So we're looking at an entirely new way of making a picture compared to LCD. LCD tries to pass light through color filters and the LCD shutter it, this is actually generating the light right at the surface. So there's less, the super top emission technology is about getting the actual glowing part closer to your eyes. So, so you don't need this big backlighting panel. That's the right. There. They actually make the light and that's how you get that great black. And you see it in the shadows. There's a lot of detail in these shadows that you won't see on your conventional flat panel in that level of detail. It's there in the picture, but the ability to uh, have that range is something that OLED uh, really is great at doing. It, it's kind of weird watching this right now because this this panel is almost better watching than in real life, like the detail on here. And you probably can't see it on television, but it's probably the most detailed picture that I've ever seen on any type of display. Well, exactly. If you think of when you're looking at a high resolution print on a piece of paper and how much more detailed that is than a television image, this is much more le like looking at a high resolution print. And uh, it's just outstanding. The viewing angle, too. I mean, you can see this thing perfectly from like 180 degrees almost. Yeah, basically one, the only time you can't see it is when you move <laughs> around the back. Okay, so this is an 11 inch um, and the price on this here I believe is 2500 bucks. That's, that's a lot right. Of, that's a lot of coin. It is, but again it's a, a completely new technology. If you look at the, all the things we brought to market, our first DVD player was over $1200 and now they're well under 100. So as time goes on, the panels, they get bigger and we intend to uh, continue to bring this to market as a, a great new way of uh, having the best in picture quality. When are we going to start seeing bigger picture sizes? I understand 27 inches kind of the next size coming out in this technology. Right. We don't actually have a timeline for when we're bringing out the uh, next sizes, but uh, obviously we're going to be building TVs and we brought this in to continue to uh, move the format forward so that the viewing is what people want, a nice thin look and a beautiful picture. Is this a, a Sony technology? Are we going to see other manufacturers using this technology as well? This OLED implementation is our own technology. Yeah. We manufacture the panels ourselves with our own manufacturing processes. There are other organic LED technologies that are in phones and keychains and different kinds of things, just like there are other uh, people making LCDs. But this implementation of it and our super top emission technology, a couple other things make it unique. So when you get that 27 inch, you can just kind of ship that to my house, right? Absolutely. Is that 27 inch going to be as thin as this? Yes, it will. It'll be that same three millimeter thickness at a bigger screen size. Amazing. I guess in the future, we can almost see these things kind of wrapping around columns and, and stuff like that? Yeah, I'm not sure about the rotating. We've seen a prototype OLED uh, in Japan that actually does bend. It was a uh, cell phone screen size. Yeah. So uh, it's technically possible. Whether or not it's uh, viable in the marketplace is, is uh, what will be determined. Great. And people can find out more information at? At sonystyle.ca. Great. Thank you very much, Brent. OLED TV. Uh, 
don't wait to buy your big screen TV now because it's going to be a little bit uh, of a, a wait for this year, but uh, really fascinating how these technologies uh, are really improving uh, the viewing experience.